Ciao, benvenuti tutti. How are you, loves? It is venerdì. It is Friday. Look at me today. I have a new look happening. Do you see my fabulous headband? I mean, there's a story here. We have a story with the headbands. Uh, so I just want to welcome you all today. Fact, look what's in the house. Do you see something new in the house? Do you see something new in the house? I'm just waiting for everyone to get on. Yes. Hopefully everybody's live. Hi, Heather. How are you, sweetheart? Look at our new KitchenAid. I am just so blessed. It is cuckoo, cuckoo crazy. Hi, Miss Tia. How are you, sweetheart? Look at this kitchen. Look, guys, yesterday my dear friend Leslie and Bob and Victoria and Alex, my fabulous friends, since high school, I've known Leslie, they said, we have a surprise for you. We're coming over. This is what you, you said you wanted it. And, you know, I've done almost 60 lives now. I can't remember anything I've said at this point. <laughs> so um, she said, you said you wanted it. So out they come. You know, we're, I, I'm masked. Mom's masked. Leslie, you know, we, we come and we meet on the porch and we exchange gifts. So she says to me, it's what you wanted. So I see this KitchenAid box, but of course I don't think it's actually a KitchenAid in the box. I just assume it's something in a box that's KitchenAid. I look at this and I'm like, I was so stunned that I almost didn't know how to react. I said, what? Is that an actual KitchenAid? This is cuckoo. They are off the chain. Amazing. Thank you, dear Leslie and Bob and Victoria and Alex, my fabulous friends, who gifted us this stunning KitchenAid mixer. This beautiful apple pistachio S green, which is stunning. Hi, Dr. Lars. Hi, sweetheart. Gorgeous KitchenAid. Look at this, guys. So today, in honor of them, we are making a French lemon yogurt cake. Beautiful. Sort of like a pound cake, but it's made with oil and yogurt, no butter. So it's not the traditional pound cake, but I wanted to do one where I would use yogurt and a little bit lighten it up, and I wanted to use my lemons which I have a whole bunch of. Hi, Anna, how are you, sweetheart? How are you, loves? So today we're using our gorgeous KitchenAid. Thank you, dear Leslie and Bob and Victoria and Alex. Amaze balls, amaze balls, just amaze balls. Hi, Leslie, look, girlfriend, here it is. Here it is, Leslie, it's so heavy. I mean, I'm just, you have to see it like this, but you see it. You see it, dear Leslie, amazing, amazing. Hi, sweetheart, the KitchenAid is in the house. Beautiful, stunning. I used it this morning. I'm going to use it again. So, also, the headbands. Do you see these fabulous crocheted headbands? Beautiful. One of uh, um, our fans up in Boston who actually saw um, Lars and me in Dining with the Diva up in Boston when we did it, in the audience, she's so wonderful, Patricia, Patty, she said, I love all the hats your mom wears. I knit hats or crochet hats. I'm going to send you a box. She sends a box, a cuckoo, I mean, insane amount of hats and beautiful headbands. I'll get my and, hand in And look, Mom, Mom's modeling the hats. Look, one hat. One hat, look, at. we have little things little on pom -poms. it. Little pom-poms. Little pom-poms. We have a purple. Purple. We have a um, pink. Hot pink. We have white. That's beautiful what I'm, I'm white wearing that one. For winter. Yes. Then we have burgundy. Burgundy. Look at these guys. And these are astounding. gorgeous. Hi, Lisa. Peach. Peachy one. Amazing. Another. Thank you, Patty. She sent these in the purple. mail. Express, I mean, priority mail Maybe overnight. Four and pot four holders. pot holders. And your two and a headband. Head headband. And two headbands. Look at guys. Isn't that wonderful? So wonderful. And it's, it's just, cold here. It's insane. And it is cold here today. And, it and tomorrow. Really good to have this. And it's lovely to have these in the house. Right. So okay. thank you, Patty, thank dear. You. That was so sweet. Heather says hello, Annie P. Hi, Heather. Hi, <laughs> Kathleen. Hi, Lisa. How are you, sweetheart? Um, so just amazing. And then my friend, Cheryl Burkle, this morning delivered fresh basil to me because she's like, oh, my place has it. I got you some. She drops me off that and asked me if I need anything at the grocery. And she picked me up spinach because I make more spinach souffles because I'm making them as thank you gifts. So just amazing. I'm so blessed. I can't even tell you. We are. The things that we've blessed. received, it's just, it's insane between the kitchen aid and everything and the induction burners. Unbelievable. So thank you. Hi, sissy. How are you? Hi, mama. Looking gorgeous. She loves it. She's looking, looking fabulous. With the hats? Yes, with the hats. Oh, Aren't I they great the fun? Plus, they fit my big noggin. Yes, they do. I fun. have a large head. Yes. Nice head scarf. Hi, Nakes. Isn't that lovely? Friend Patty, she, um, these are crocheted. It's just delicious. I love it. Allie, did she just come on? Allie just came on. Look at Allie. Look, we have a beautiful collection of, look at, look at what, the hats. Look what Patty sent us. Hats. From Boston. 
Pot holders. Pot hats and pot holders and headbands. It's on the charts. Going. It's off the charts, guys. You're at work, Sissy. I'm so glad. I know you're making soups and fabulous things. Yes. So, loveys. Today we're making a lemon loaf. Now, this is what it looks like. As you see, it's not the actual size it was this morning. Gee, I wonder why. I can't imagine we've tasted it. No. Nope. There it is. This is the yogurt lemon loaf we're going to make today in the gorgeous KitchenAid. This is delicious. It's lighter than pound cake because it has much less sugar and no butter. It's done with olive oil. Extra virgin olive oil I did it with. And I did it with lemons and with yogurt, and it's fantastic. So I'm going to show you how I did this. Beautiful loaf. It'd be lovely with a lemon glaze. It'd be lovely with a lemon glaze, lemon juice, some confectioner sugar. It'd be lovely with that, with powdered sugar over it. So this is the loaf. Smells wonderful. Um, after I made it, the recipe called for one, the zest of one lemon. I zested two, and today I, and I'm zesting three. Yeah. I find it needs even more lemon taste because the only lemon in it is the zest. Yeah. Allie's making brownie bliss balls and mango lime coconut chia pudding and one soup. Okay. Just a few little things. <laughs> Hi, Cindy. How are you, sweetheart? Here's our beautiful lemon loaf. Um, if there's no butter, then what's the point? Oh, Leslie, I know, but it's olive oil and it's delicious. It's very moist, actually. It's good. It's good. It's good. I'm actually bringing you one, so you'll see the point, because you're getting one as a thank you for this. So I'm bringing you this. This was the trial one. Hi, Annie Lynn. This is the trial one. Then you guys, if you want to glaze it, because I have no more confectioner sugar, but if you want to glaze it, because I know you guys would love that, right. makes it extra sweet and tangy but I'm all out of confectioner sugar. But I want you to try this because it's quite delicious and not too sweet, no, but it's, it's just lovely and it's a lovely texture. So here we go, lovies. I will post the recipe. You're sweet. Well, I'm bringing it to you, Miss Leslie, and a spinach souffle if you would like one. Hi, Kate. Hi, Bobo. Everyone's on today. Look at, do you see this? Very dramatic. Very Norma Desmond. I'm ready for my close-up, Mr. DeMille. <laughs> Prepare yourselves. We're at number 60, almost 60. Now, the problem, if you've gone onto YouTube, which maybe you don't look at the videos once you've seen them live, I'm having issues uploading them. Um, I've spent about the past few days uploading them from a certain site and then uploading them to YouTube and then to find out none of them, the past five did not transfer with sound. So there was no sound. It was like a silent film. So there it is. So I'm trying to do that, love. So if there's a few you don't have, they're always on Facebook or I can send you the link. But that's the issue right now. Also want to have a shout out. I have new Patreons, new Patreon subscribers. My fabulous friends, C&B from California. My newest Patreon patrons, so it's fabulous. I now have five, I now have five, so that's fantastic. Oh, you love spinach, Leslie? Fabulous, you're getting a spinach oh, souffle. I like that. I'll bring you that and the lemon loaf. Okay, lovies, we're gonna start up. What I thought I would do first is I'm just gonna sift the dry ingredients in one pan and then in the fabulous KitchenAid bowl, I'm going to put the wet ingredients. So we're going to do a cup and a half of flour, two teaspoons of baking powder, sweethearts. And then, here we go, mama. I'm just going to, I do all this together, lovies, as you know. Cup and a half. Is this a fourth? <laughs> That's a fourth. Okay. Can I read? I need glasses. <laughs> Putting a puzzle together and drinking a cocktail. Annie Lee, are you drinking a cocktail? Oh, it's three. Go ahead. <laughs> oh, I wish yeah. I was drinking a cocktail, but that's all right. <laughs> I, I, no. I do better with no cocktails, as we found out. The margarita didn't. No, the. Uh, you had the little pina colada the oh, other no, day, Mama. No, no, no. Mom said no, no, no. Never again. So, <laughs> never again. No, so, two teaspoons, loves, of baking powder that we're going to sift in. <gasps> Patty's on, Patty. Do you see your hats? Mom, come. Patty's oh, on. Patty. Oh. Patty's on. Patty? Patty, dear Patty, the one who made us the we hats. We love the hats. Look at the hats, Patty. We showed everyone. Fabulous. This, this the greatest one. hats, look Patty. At, look at look at what look Patty at this sent off us. the charts, Patty. I don't know what to say. You're off the chain. Um, I I could send you something in the mail, food wise. I'm gonna have to ship you some cookies because it oh is off the charts. We I love, love this headband. Thank you so much, I've sweetheart. I've on since I got here. So and then a fourth of a teaspoon of salt, sweetheart. So this goes, the dry ingredients. I'm sifting them with my fabulous sifter here. We want everything really well sifted in this. That's what makes the difference. Sifting and using the KitchenAid to really blend it up really well. So that's the cup and a half of flour and two teaspoons of baking powder. 
and a fourth of a teaspoon of salt, lovies. So there's our beautiful sifted dry ingredients. Boom, boom. So here we are, loves. Glad you like. Oh, they're fabulous. Oh, they're this. beautiful. Love headbands. It keeps us warm in the cold house. Oh, yes. It's cold house. It's cold house. <laughs> so now we're having a cup of sugar, and I'm going to zest the lemons. Um, so what I'm going to do, a cup of sugar. Here's sugar. There's a cup. Okay. okay. So I'm zesting three lemons, not one, not two like I did. I want more lemon flavor in it. So here's my fabulous sister. Here's the lemons. And what we do is we put a cup of sugar in. Now we're using the other bowl for the KitchenAid. And we put the cup of sugar in and then we zest the lemon into it. And then we, we mush the lemon zest in with the lemon, with the sugar to make it, the sugar really, really fabulously scented. And then it will get moist in there. So that's really great. So here's a cup of sugar. Sweetheart. It's not a lot of sugar. No, it's great. Which is nice because a lot of pound cakes, I've spent a few days because I knew that I wanted to make a pound cake. I sort of wanted to do some basic ingredients. So I've looked at so many pound cakes. You need lemon extract. Actually, sweetheart, in this one, this is just lemon zest in this. And I actually prefer, lemon extract is, is interesting, but I actually prefer just the zest. Sometimes I find it can be too intense. But um, I've never actually used lemon extract. Yeah. I've used lemon juice and of course lemon zest all the time. So we just want the zest, lovies. We don't want that part, that's the pith and it gets a little bit better. So just try to zest the top of it. We just keep going around you Can zest that way. That's one way to zest. And these fabulous, so that's one lemon. Or else you can also go this direction, how I do it, like this. Then you'll see how much zest you're actually getting on the lemon. So um, it's been just fabulous. So when I saw this KitchenAid yesterday come in, I thought, what am I gonna make? So I thought pound cake, and then I saw these great recipes for this French lemon yogurt cake, which all the French uh, people know how to make it. It's one of their sort of basic recipes in their repertoire. They'll have it in their home. They take it to their friend's house. They have it at um, a dinner for dessert. And it's very, it's lovely, and it's not too sweet. It would also be lovely with some jam on it, yes, with I a little whipped so. cream and yes. berries on it. So I'm doing three big lemons, sweethearts, of zest because I love zest. So instead of one, I'm using three. <laughs> this morning I used two and I just thought it was uh, not even enough. So I thought, well, let's bump it up. I'm gonna bump it up a bit and we're just gonna do it this way. So you can do it both ways. So there we go, lovies. And this morning I was just adding up the amount of recipes we've done because my great friend Catherine is a great chef in uh, San Francisco and she's gonna send me some of her recipes and things that I could do. She's my new Patreon subscriber. So she's sending me some and she said, send me a list of everything you've done. And so when we actually sat down and listed it from the videos, because God forbid I actually keep an organized list. No, 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 there's not a that. We have to go back to the videos to actually remember because some things I hadn't remembered. Mom said I hadn't remember, she hadn't remembered doing the big turkey. Remember oh, when I we did the, the turkey and the turkey tetrazzini? Of course, that seems like eons ago. It does. it does. Does it seem like eons ago, guys? Yes. It's literally, I believe now, two months ago in a couple of days. I still remember the taste. It bursts with lemon flavor. That's right. Um, it's, it's just amazing how it's been two months. So now what I'm doing is I'm mushing the zest into the sugar, lovies, to get it all worked into the sugar with my hands. Then I'm going to put it into the KitchenAid. Yay. We're going to add, and, and then how your hands smell after this, guys, it's insane, the, le the lemon flavor. And what, what this does, when you put it in with the sugar, it releases the oils. So it gets the, the zest all released into the sugar, so it releases the oils when you do it with your hands. It warms it up. And then, and then you have these lemon pledge smelling hands. No, not pledge. Isn't that amazing? Ooh, that's good. It's amazing. That's grand. <laughs> so then what we do, sweethearts, is we put in, at the end, we put in the oil once we've combined it. For now, we have the sugar, the zest, three eggs, guys. I'm putting in three eggs. Three beautiful eggs. Fantastico. Hi, Susan. How are you, sweetheart? So we're putting in three eggs. No shells. No shells. No shells. <laughs> shells in the garden. We're putting the shells in the garden. Garden. And three eggs. Here we are, lovies. Perfect. And a fourth of a teaspoon of vanilla extract. Thank you, Miss Leslie. <laughs> Leslie also brought me the vanilla extract because she's been going out and she said, oh, I know you, I didn't have any. So she dropped it off yesterday after they dropped off <laughs> the kitchen. 
I don't know what to say anymore, guys. They're all off the chain. And then I need three fourths of a cup of plain yogurt. I'm using whole, I had whole milk yogurt. I'm using whole Greek yogurt. If you have low fat yogurt, go for it. If you just have the regular non-Greek, go for it. Sour cream I think would work as well. But I had this whole milk Greek yogurt and it worked beautifully. So we're using three fourths of a cup of the yogurt. So I'm gonna put this in there. Just using my fingers, guys, you know me. Clean fingers are chef's best friend because that really works. It's hard to get a spoon in there. So I need three fourths of a cup. There you go. It's hard. Um, that's a fourth, right? Yes, ma'am. And a fourth, and yes. then another fourth. Exactly. That's it, guys. You got it. <laughs> we've got our, I passed math. We've got our fractions Barely. down. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> <laughs> Hi, Bridget. How are you, sweetheart? So here we go, guys. We're just getting the rest of our there we go. Greek whole milk yogurt into our KitchenAid bowl. And here we're going to turn it on. I know a lot of people couldn't believe. I know my friend in California said, I didn't know you never had a KitchenAid. And I said, no, because I've never really been a big, hold on, let me rinse my hands, guys, because I don't want to mess up the KitchenAid by uh, putting that on it. Because I've never really been a huge baker. I, I mean, I like to bake, but my mom and I would always do it by hand. So I'm putting on the fabulous, fabulous, I did it correct this morning. There we go, babes. Now, here we go. Do you want to see it? Look, guys. I'm going to sort of turn it this direction. Good. I know, go all eye in a garden on you guys. Here we go. <laughs> Boom. There you Can you see it, babes? Oh, maybe not. <laughs> That's what happens. Hold on. Okay. Have to tighten everything. KitchenAid is a life changer. Don't you love it? Everybody loves it. Hold on, loveys. I'm tightening my, uh, I'm tightening She's my things tightening here. Tightening the camera. Tightening the camera. We don't need that to, uh, we don't need that to flip down into the KitchenAid, do we? So now we're gonna put this in, lovies. It's all on, lock in, and we're gonna do it on low. Okay. Do it on low, and then I'm gonna get the spatula. You always wanna scrape down the sides, sweetheart. Scrape down the sides when you're doing this. So we're just gonna combine this, and then we're gonna combine the dry ingredients into it once we've mixed it, sweethearts. Isn't this fun? Isn't it great fun? Woo! So I have all these fabulous, uh, recipes I'm going to do. I have the bread hook. I have the fabulous um, whisk that I can use for whipping cream. And then, of course, there's all the attachments. The pasta attachment, the sausage attachment, the meat grinder attachment. There's so many. Yeah, I was going to show them how I did it. Okay, all right. Okay. How I do, um, because we have to grease the pan and then also parchment lined in the bottom. But I was just going to show you how I trace it with a Sharpie and parchment paper to get it the right size. Hi, Kim. The gallery, the galley on my boat might be a tad bigger than the one on your boat. So if my, so if I sail my boat to your boat this summer, okay, Kim, I see it, but I can't see the rest of it. <laughs> yes, if you sail your boat to our, the little boat, we're gonna make all these things. We're making all of this stuff, sweethearts. So I'm gonna turn that off, guys, and I'm just going to, you lift it up, and I'm gonna scrape down the sides. That's what we do, we scrape it all down, Get that all mixed, and then we're gonna add our fabulous dry ingredients, sweethearts. So we'll do that, boom. There we go, so just keep mixing that up. Then we're gonna slowly incorporate the dry ingredients. That's what I've always seen Ina Garden do. So we just sort of slowly incorporate the flour, the baking powder into it in about three different sections. Hi, Emil, how are you, sweetheart? So we're just gonna get that all mixed in. It's gonna look fabulous. And then we add the olive oil at the end, half a cup. You can use a neutral oil. If you wanna use a grapeseed oil, a uh, different type of oils is great. If you have a lemon flavored oil, go for it. Hi, sweetheart. We're doing a lemon yogurt, almost a pound cake, but no butter. It's with olive oil and yogurt and lemon zest. It's a French recipe. It's beautiful. So slowly incorporate the ingredients. Just use your hands here, lovies. In and the KitchenAid does its magic. Magic, it's great. How are you doing, Emil, in San Francisco? I know you're in Pacifica, gorgeous Pacifica. I love all your photos of your garden, it's gorgeous. The green looks good on camera. Thank you, Leslie, doesn't it? It's very bright, it's pops. It's a pop of color, gorgeous. Chose the gorgeous color. Here we go, guys. We're just putting the rest of the dry ingredients in. Boom, boom, boom. And remember, just scrape the sides down, lovies. There was a little bit left, here we are. There we go, boom, boom. And we're going to just get
get that up a little bit more. And I'm gonna scrape the sides down again. Always scrape them down. As Ina, as Ina Garden says, looking lovely. Thank you, Emil. Thank you, dear. So I'm just scraping this all down here, loves. And I did try the batter. It's quite delectable. It's a very tasty little batter. And so there we go, lovey. So just scrape all that down. Get all that going, all that loveliness in there. Boom, and then we'll just keep mixing that up. There we go, loves. And then slowly we, Pacifica rocks, praying for our troubled world. I know, that's true. Very true, sweetheart, I know. Now it's been tough at the opera. Emile's a fabulous cellist who plays with the San Francisco Opera Orchestra. Brilliant, brilliant. We sang a song together, remember that one, Emile? The Jay Kagey song, wasn't that fabulous? Would love to be your kitchen helper. So would I, Emile. I'm going on a tour when all this is over. I'm going to go to everybody's house and we're going to make a recipe and sing. So we'll sing. Fabuloso. So now we're adding slowly half a cup of extra virgin olive oil. Hello, Miss Nina Edwards. How are you, love? So we're just incorporating the olive oil in, sweethearts. Just get that all incorporated. This is a gorgeous batter. Wait till you see this. It's so silky smooth. Very lovely. And it's going to cook for about 55 minutes to an hour on 350. Cantico, canta con me, that's right. Ciao, Nina, how are you, sweetheart? Yes, we're making a beautiful lemon yogurt uh, cake today from France. It's a French yogurt cake, only like, like a pound cake, but a little bit lighter, it doesn't have any butter. It doesn't have, uh, a lot of these pound cakes I saw had about three cups of sugar in them. <laughs> and three cups of flour. This only has a cup and a half and a cup of sugar. Thanks, Mommy. Uh -huh. uh, so it's much lighter, I find, than an actual pound cake recipe, for sure. So here we are, loveys. We're just gonna mix all this, and then I'm gonna show you what I'm gonna do. Can you get, oh, here, Mommy, I'll get it. Here we go. And um, Nina says, I want, I was watching you on two, YouTube and realized it was three o'clock and I can catch you live. Yes. Oh, I love you, Nina. Yes, I love being live, guys. There's something about live, it's just so fantastic. No butter, mon dieu. No. No, not with this one. Can you imagine the French not using butter? But they actually, um, for this cake, use oil uh, because it's very moist. It makes it very, very moist. Here we go, loves. Check it out, the batter. Look at that batter, guys. Look at that. Ooh, there's still some dry ingredients on the top, guys. So you know what? I'm just going to put those in because sometimes they get caught up there. All good. I'm just going to, I'm going to lift it a little bit more. Here we go, guys. And just finish that off. Here we go. Remember the fabulous time we had in Paris? Oh, Nina Edwards, you know it. Remember we went to the Cafe Angeline when we had that hot chocolate, the one that you could stick a spoon in and it wouldn't move? Emile says, hi, Mommy. Emile Melon. Hi, hello. Emile. So, oh, girl, we had the best time. That's when we were auditioning at the, uh, I think, at the Bastille. Mm -hmm. I had my first frog legs with you while in Paris. That's true. We ate in that little restaurant. Remember I was staying at some, oh, God, I was staying in some five-floor walk-up. I can't even remember at this point. And I had an audition, I think not at the Bastille, it's somewhere else, it was for Norma. I didn't get it. Oh well. <laughs> but that's all right. But I had a great time there. I remember it was an Airbnb that I had and we met up there and we went around, it was fabulous. We had a great time. Fabulous memories. Yeah. So here we go, lovies. Just clean off the fabulous beater here. This is so much fun. It's great, great times here, loves. So here we go. So I know how to take this off, guys. I've done it a thousand times. You think? Good, remember? Yes. There we go. Uh, <laughs> You'll have to teach me. I've never used one ever. That's it. No, it's not it. I, I'll get it, guys. I just did it. I just did it before. God forbid you do it. No, that's right. Oh, that's it. You lift up and over. It's up and over. Oh. That's it. Now I remember. Okay. Up, over, and guys, I know how to do this. There it is. Up, over, and down. That's it. Oh. <laughs> Just have to, it's different when you're trying to do it on television. You know how it is, guys. Let me try the batter. Oh, yeah. You like more lemon? Mm-hmm. No, okay. the, the more lemons. Delicious. Five floors for me. I remember, Nina. Yeah, yeah. The amazing hot chocolate. And you had five floors. I had five floors, too. There's no elevators in Paris. There's none of that. Um, yeah, so here we go, loves. Look at this batter, sweethearts. Gorgeous, gorgeous batter. So we're just going to... Get all that going, all that incorporated. Make sure all the uh, flowers off the bottom. Look at that gorgeous batter, guys. Fantastic batter. So what we're gonna do now, lovies, I have a loaf pan. 
large loaf pan here, and I have my beautiful paper. See, it's already been traced. That's what I do. Mama traced it. So what we do is I put this down here, since that's what I need, and then I trace around it with a Sharpie, and then cut it out with a little pair of scissors. Love, I caught you doing something French. <laughs> You're right. Isn't that funny, Nina? These scissors are... The, the, the ones you used this morning, I can't find the black ones. <laughs> and these are Mom can't find them. No, because somebody because she said back. I I absconded with them. <laughs> Actually, I put them right back where they belonged, but now I can't find them. <laughs> you know me, guys. But Mom is gonna cut I, it out. I've got the terrible scissors. <laughs> They're scrapbooking scissors. They're scrapbooking scissors. scissors. So what I'm doing, guys, I'm gonna grease this with some coconut oil spray that the sprayer nozzle has gone all fakakted on me, but that's all right. So they also said you could olive oil this as well. <clears throat> it just went all over me. 1226 here in LA. Oh. Okay, sweetheart, that's right. Oh yes, here we go, loves. We're just going to, <coughs> sorry, the aerosol is quite something. You look lovely, life must be great. Well, thank you, sweetheart. <laughs> Fabulous. It's been just grand doing this. Look at our cute little craft scissors. <laughs> it made little cute things. Look, guys. Boom. And boom. So we oiled that and put that in. And then we oil it and spray it again. I'm actually going to do it with a little olive oil, Mommy. Okay. Because, what the heck. Just put a little bit of olive oil in and swish, and swish it around, guys. You don't have to flour this one. Hi, Deborah. How are you, sweetheart? So just... Grease this and put the fabulous parchment paper in right there, lovies. Here we go. And now we just pour it in. Here we go, guys. Look at that. Isn't that a beautiful batter? Gorgeous batter. Just fantastic, guys. Then this bakes at 350 for about an hour or until a toothpick comes out clean. And it will have sort of a crack on the top, you'll yes, see. Yes. Um, I'm not the... I'm the messy baker. That's all right. There it is, guys. So we're going to get all that goodness in there. It is so moist and lovely. Leslie Frick, this one has your name on it. So make up a glaze, because I think you'll like it. Yeah, tell make the, up a fabulous glaze for it. Tell Victoria, get on the glaze. Parchment paper is a lifesaver. Oh, that's for sure. Parchment paper and also sill pats. Yes, yes. When you bake uh, cookies and things are a lifesaver too, sweethearts. So there we are, lovies. Gorgeousness. Thank you. All lovely. I like to put that down a little bit. Get that off the sides. There we are, sweethearts. Fabuloso. Gorgeous. There we are, lovies. Boomy. So we're going to put that in. 350. Boom. For a good... Oh! <laughs> you know what happens when you put the pans back in? Now the pans are back in and now they're boiling hot. <laughs> Be careful, Mom. I got my... Where are you going to put them? That's the question. Here, Mom, put one up there, maybe. I'll put it on the floor. <laughs> we have pans. You know how you keep your pans in your, in your stove. Do you guys do that? Do you have not enough room for your pans? Um, okay, Victoria's going to make a lemon glaze. Great. French spat. French spat. Oh, yes, I have a French spatula, sweethearts. I do. Me too. That lime green KitchenAid is cute. I know, isn't it fabulous? You're okay, boo. Love it. Grazie, Mama. Here we go. Here we go, loves. In the top, 350 for an hour or so until it clean, comes out clean. Look at this KitchenAid, guys. Look at this. Isn't it gorgeous? I'm going to clean her up. I'm going gonna to shine her up. You can't have her getting messy now. That's it. So I'm going to make some bread. I'm getting a lot of recipes for this KitchenAid. Um, some fabulous bread dough. We can do that with uh, Chef Kelly. will be our guest on Monday talking about all things bread. So prepare yourselves. Uh, prepare yourselves for bread. Bring all your bread questions, lovies. Any questions about bread, scones, anything. If you love all of the Irish and British fabulous desserts like sticky toffee pudding or the banoffee pie or the millionaire shortbread bars, Kelly's made all of them. And scones, fancy scones, everything. One of these days I'm going to record Victoria baking and send it to you. Okay, fabulous. That'll be fabulous. So Victoria's going to make a fabulous lemon glaze. And I'll bring you the bread and also a spinach souffle. Get the spinach though. Huh? Get the spinach 
oh, that's right, I need to thaw spinach. I don't have a microwave. Do not send me a microwave, guys. No, 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 no. I'm not saying this because I want one. I'm just saying I don't have a microwave. So often I have to do things the slow way. <laughs> and when I have to defrost, I usually have to put, you know, meat or things like that in water. Or I have to put it, you know, leave it out for a day or two or something like that. So I don't, it's all fine. We don't need a microwave. No. There's no room. <laughs> we have to put it upstairs. There's no room in the kitchen. That's it. So look at this beautiful KitchenAid loves. It's so delicious. What a beautiful thing. It's heavy as lead, too. These things last forever. You can't believe how heavy they are. It's like a Granny Smith green. Yeah, it is like a Granny Smith green. It's quite lovely, guys. It's going to stay here in the center. A thing of beauty. Enjoyed your ingredient peanut butter uh, keto. Yes, aren't they fabulous? Those three ingredient peanut butter cups. I mean cups. <laughs> Cookies. Um, they're fantastic. They're very, 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 very good. They're amazing, guys. Yeah, I love those too. Really lovely texture. Delicious. Fabulous. Um, I've said the F word a thousand times. I'll hear about it later. No, that, that was the word. Mom's I, ignoring it. I'm going to hold it to 35, 36. She has, she's, over, she's sitting over there <laughs> critiquing. <laughs> critiquing over in the corner and then she'll hold up a note and says, you've said it 35 times. It wasn't you did. Mom said one day, you, you don't have a microwave? I thought you did. No, Leslie! No! no, we don't no. no, no. <laughs> Stop! <laughs> no microwave! But that's alright, we don't want one. We don't want one. They're so big and we only really use them to heat up anything or melt butter or actually soften butter for things. That's it. I, when I make coffee, I, if I make popcorn, you know me, I do it the old school way. That's how it goes. So uh, no worries, we don't need it. Plus our neighbor Grazie, if we need to use it, we fly on over to her house. Um, mother's job, that's right, Nina Edwards. It's a mother's job to tell us. <laughs> you know that, it's not the truth. So there we are, sweet loves. That was fast today. Yeah. Fabulous, delicious lemon. It's a beautiful lemon loaf, very lovely. I have Nana's first KitchenAid, Annie Lynn has it. Oh, Aunt, oh. Aunt Lynn has it, we didn't know who had it. Annie Lynn has it. We thought Cammy had it, but I guess not. Uh, Lynn has it. Good. I'm glad I say the thing. Good. Look at the beautiful lemon love, guys. It's fantastic. Good for tea in the afternoon. Get a little Earl Grey with some milk, with a little slab of that. Um, delightful. Just delightful, sweethearts. Um, and I may try to make a pound, an actual pound, pound cake. I just have to find. There's so many recipes. I was going to do the cake Bible recipe, actually. That uh, is a great recipe. And there's also another cookbook, the fabulous cookbook. That's right, this old school cookbook oh that we found at a. Tell, tell Aunt Lynn got the party open. And it has these amazing. This is the cook. Uh, it's a family home cookbook, guys, from 1963. This is some crazy stuff in here. You just can't. Right. You're my mom graduated high school. You can't believe this stuff in here. The party loaf is in here. Look at these the, the old party school. Loaf, the party loaf is in there with the bread. There is some stuff in here you can't even imagine. So there is a lovely pound cake in this one. But it's a great book. Great book. Actually, it's going, going for about $75 on uh, Etsy, eBay. Etsy. On Etsy. It's hard it to free. find. Mom got it free. <laughs> free is best. Free, free is best. Spoken like a Scot. <laughs> Mom is Scottish. Free is best. <laughs> I don't know where I came from. <laughs> and I'm, she doesn't either. So uh, there it is, loveys. Cammy has Nana's second one, so that, Nana okay, had two. Oh, good. Good Lord. Oh, good boy. Okay. Yes. So there it is. I'm shining her up. Isn't it beautiful? Would you have, uh, would you have to double today's recipe for a bunt pan? Oh, Bobo. Probably. Yeah, probably, sweetheart. Yes. Yeah, because yes. I noticed that the big pound cakes that they do in the bunt pans are huge. Like three cups of flour, yes. three cups of sugar, a lot of eggs. Victoria has Julia Child's cookbook. Yes, oh, that's a great one too, sweetheart. I love The Art of French Cooking. That's a great book as well. Uh, fantastic. Uh, just great. But I think you would have to double it for a bunt pan, sweetheart. I just didn't do it in a bunt pan. I sort of wanted to do it in the loaf pan, the sort of traditional easy loaf pan. Um, I just have, I don't have the sort of bunt pan that I would have used for it. To um, Annie Lynn the party. Annie Lynn, this is the party loaf. loaf. We have See it right Annie there, Lynn. Lenny. You see, Annie Lynn? I'll send you the recipe. That's the party loaf. It's what you take. You take a whole Pullman loaf of bread, one of the big white bread loaves that's not sliced. Good luck finding it. You'll have to make it. A few, the few bakeries have it, but now it's hard to find. And you slice it almost like a cake in three different sections, and you so then layer it with a with um, different type of salads. It's, it's done with cream cheese and olives and cream cheese and something and ham pineapple salad. and ham salad. And then you... Frost, frost the cake 
with a cream cheese and and a little bit of the pineapple juice I actually recommend. icing. And so the, it's all, it's it's like a tea yes. uh, loaf, and then you slice it, and it looks like a cake, but it's actually a savory sandwich mm -hmm. with three different it's fillings. Good. It's quite something. I've actually always wanted to make it, but I don't have all the ingredients right now. It would be a hoot to make. I think one week we should do some retro, retro recipes. Oh, yes. oh that's good retro. But there's none. There's no aspic. I'm not doing any of that. No. There's no gelatin molds and stuff. I could do that. We could do some old school things. There's some fun things in there. I was looking at it just amazed at some of these recipes. Uh, you would love it. They're really fantastic. Memories of your mom's bridal shower. Thank you, Betty Dowdy. That's why. Allie wants a party loaf. We've got to get the bread. Well, we have to get the loaf. We have to get the loaf. Actually, Kelly could make us the party loaf. Oh, thank you, Kelly. I'm checking in late. You'll be happy to know that we have spent the afternoon shooting our first video. Praise the Lord, Kelly. Oh, congratulations, Kelly. Chef Kelly is has now shot his first video, now off to edit. Fabulous. So you guys, they're gonna have some fabulous artistic thing. I'm just cuckoo going live and going rogue. <laughs> and there it is. But that's fabulous, Kel, I can't wait to see it. We'll be talking about that on Monday. Yes. So that is fabuloso. Um, maybe they can help me with editing because I think soon, because of the Facebook issues, uploading it to YouTube and wanting to get more subscribers, I'm gonna have to start making actual videos for YouTube. Um, and uploading those so it'll be very different. I'll do a live and then I'll do a YouTube video So I'll need twice the amount of food <laughs> But I think also I'm going to do some videos in Denmark. The cake is called a lemon half moon. Thank you, Lisa a lemon half moon fabulous. That's what it's called. Yeah Fabulous. I know the Danes love lemon They have a great pudding called the citron like formage where they make this lemon pudding. It's just amazing we should do that one day. I have to find that. Actually, maybe we'll do that in Denmark. Lisa, do you want to do a live with me in Denmark? We'll do one. After we've quarantined, we'll do it. Oh, good. Leslie said Alex will edit them for me. That's great because I don't know how to do this stuff. And I'd rather find some young buck or young girl to do it for me. Because you know what? I have enough stuff here in my head. <laughs> I've learned enough stuff for trying to do this editing and all this stuff. First of all, I don't have a computer right now. And that, I'm not saying anything. All right, guys, I'm just telling you like it is. I just have my phone and my iPad and some cuckoo internet right now. So it's a little tricky. I know you can edit on your phones, but I just right now, this is, this is it. This is what I love to do. So that would be great once I start making some videos. But see, I love the interaction with you guys live. And it's different when you do a YouTube video. So um, that's great. I mean, I'd be happy talking to the camera, but it's lovely to have the interaction here. So love you all. So there it is, sweethearts. Our cake is in the oven, and it'll be over at your house in a good hour and a half, Leslie. Get your glaze ready. And uh, just going to finish that up today, lovies. And then tomorrow, I'm not sure what I'm going to do yet. I'll figure it out. <laughs> I'll, maybe something else in the kitchen today. Maybe, maybe we'll try a bread. Maybe. I have a sourdough starter, but the thing is, you know, bre breads take five hours. You have to wait. And <laughs> since I do lives, it's a little bit tricky. Karsten is the best at lemon formage. Ooh, that's great, Lisa. Okay, Karsten and I are doing a live. We're doing a lemon formage live from Denmark because people would go nuts in Denmark with the live seeing all of the great food there. That would be fabuloso. Great, let's do that, sweethearts. Ciao, Bella. So, lovies, thank you so much for coming in today and joining me for my fabulous lemon loaf with our beautiful new fabulous KitchenAid. I have to think of a name for her. No, no, so. I have to think of a name. A name yeah. Think of a name for the KitchenAid. What should her name be? Bella something. Something fabulous. Um, something Bella Verde because it's beautiful green. There it is. So thank you so much, dear Leslie and Bob and Victoria and Alex for this stunning, beautiful gift. And thank you, Miss Cheryl Burkle, for my beautiful basil and all of my ingredients today. You're so wonderful. And for Mom's flowers. And to Patty for our fabulous hats. See, my hair, because it hasn't been colored in two months, not that you'd notice, wink, wink, pretty soon I'm going to be wearing the hats. You see what's going to happen? Because we're not going in for the white hair. So when I'm wearing hats from now on, you'll know why. <laughs> so thank you, Miss Nina, and thank you all of you. Stay safe, stay put for now, stay cooking, wink. And I will see you, ci vediamo domani, for more fun and fabulous dining with the diva. Remember to subscribe to my YouTube channel. And if you need of any of the past videos, I will send you them on Facebook if you need them because they're not uploading right now. <laughs> I have to figure it out. Um, 
and also my Patreon, my Patreon channel. That's really fabulous as well. If you'd like to subscribe to that and help out a little bit would be wonderful. It's a wonderful platform for artists and musicians and people doing videos and this kind of content. So thank you, Annie Lynn. Thank you, loves. And I will see everyone tomorrow. Okay, sweethearts. Tanti bacini. Ciao, ciao.